Before starting his workshop, Jonathan Miller listens while Charles Hazelwood conducts the cast of young singers from the Royal Northern College of Music through the famous death scene in La Boheme. Yeah, do you see there's a kind of lumpen quality to that because you just talked about the swallow coming back to her nest. Here is the swallow, but she's kind of limping. <laughs> During this sing-through, and for most of Jonathan Miller's staging, the young singers will mark these very demanding roles, rather than sing them at full volume. Take the line from her. You're just passing the line in the most delicious way between each other. It's like perfect love music. Let's come in on uh, Arte. If, in fact, we start with, uh, with Rodolfo kneeling beside her to see that she's all right, just kneel there, Rosario, and then the last time you have seen where Rodolfo is, is here. And what I want you to do then, Rosario, is as they leave the room and that introduction begins, can we just play that, Martin? I want you to get that feeling of restless. What do I do? That frantic restlessness. What do I do? Someone's ill. Open your eyes and look in that direction. Where is he? And there should be a faint feeling of panic. Of panic. Everyone's left the room. That's right, but it's just, where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Just take all this time, yeah, all this time. to open minutes. your eyes very slowly. Now, where's Rodolfo's gone? It's as if a child wakes up in a bedroom late at night and, and then just say it to the room. So where are you? Where are Sono and Dato? And then... When she you hit, so yes, pretending to that's sleep. right, yes, yeah. but she's not, she was, she was, she, she, she drowsed off. It's the way in which the ill and the sick always tried somehow to make the living comfortable rather than the other way around. They know that they're creating panic in everyone around them. And I think as soon as you hear her words, just sit down, I'm here. And I, I'd like you, if you could, to sing, if you can, this would right beside her here. You can use the hand round this side. Um, what I don't want to do is to have that awful piece of kitsch uh, operatic romanticism <coughs> where you heave the poor girl up. 
into your arms and the two of you singing together this <laughs> magnificent thing. It should just be, um, it, it should be rather timidly solicitous. It's the way in which the healthy who are unacquainted with the dying simply don't know what to do, how to help. And, so, and just run your hand on her. It's that thing of, well, perhaps if I stroke her, she'll feel better. And actually what happens is that a dying person is saying, I wish you'd go away. Mm -hmm. That's extremely irritating to have someone <laughs> running their hands up and down your arm while you're dying. Oh, yeah. And you don't want to be unkind to them because it would seem so mean because you're getting off the boat earlier than they are. And so you put up with this awful, unnecessary, irritating mm -hmm. solicitousness. When I had my tonsils out and people are there talking to you, and the last thing you have to do is talk. That's right. <laughs> and you just want to say, please Get go out. away. <laughs> I know you're being very kind. And when I get better, if I do, but I won't, I'll thank you. But meanwhile, piss off. <laughs> OK? So let's just get this. I mean, we've got to take this very small piece by very small piece in order to build this, this insufferable weight of grief which builds the scene. very very good now if you can is it possible to just turn slightly so that you stare out oh, into yeah. space yeah. Um, I Wait, think you could come you could come a little bit earlier I think it should be before you hear her singing that there's a little tiny turn in the music which can, can we just go through the sit down. yeah for you to sit down um, can we just hear Martin that's just the, um, the that introduction again I'm here, I'm here. Comfort her. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay? Yep. The marvelous thing about this opening music is that it's so compressed, isn't it? Mimi is a character who has lots of leaps and huge, what we call tessitura, an enormous range that she sings from a top C right down low. Um, but in this particular section, the, the, the sheer compression of the situation and the total hopelessness of it is reflected so much in, in these very small interval jumps that she has, and then later on by absolute monotone. Yes, the grim reality that there's less the... and less and less left open to you as you die mm -hmm. to think or feel anything, because you're busily hooked onto a destination that no one else in the room 
actually knows anything about. Gossamer string writing. Once she starts singing that mi chiama no mi mi, it's all, it's too, it almost should be too much for you. And I think, I'm just wondering if in fact you're too comfortably there. I wonder if in fact, yeah. if instead of being, I, I don't know whether you can sing, whether you can be on both knees. Yeah, you see, I wonder if in fact, I think this chair, yes, I can see you're sort yeah. of reaching, uh, it's too far. And it's, it's, again, it's, it's both comfortable and, and uncomfortable yeah. at the same time. And I wonder if in fact, that if you're really kneeling like that, and the mimi, -mi, I mean, I think the big noise. Um, I think that there are two reasons for not singing it at her. One is that um, it would make her go straight to hospital and say, well, I'm <laughs> simply, this is the last place I'm going to stay and die if I'm simply going to get these enormous tenor foghorns in my ear. <laughs> um, so foghorns, it would, it, would, it would be wonderful if in fact you took, you took her hand like this so that you can think, and do that me, me. Now, can you just do it after, as if you're holding her back and sing it like that? Yeah, I think so. Um, it would be wonderful if, in fact, you do it like that. And then this calm voice continues. Now, when she starts to say, mi chiamo no, mi, mi, it brings back that first occasion when you met her. That's when you must break down. When she says, when she says, Flutter, when she says, mi chiamo no. Okay? Right. Cherish the word, Rosario. Me, never me. Look never look at him at all. Cherish just, it. Just, just an absent-minded patting. Right. It's just pat. Yes, yeah, so you'll be all right, Dave. Don't, honestly. I'm, it's okay. And you see, what we see is the, the, the great cries of pain come from the healthy, not from the dying. You see, me, me. Um, so that if you have, can manage to slip your hand under like that and do that, me, me. And then just, just, you can manage to look at the top of his head. Poor lamb, poor lamb, how can I comfort him? Mm. So one gets this constant stream of the solicitousness of the dying for the living. And then it's that really, you know, almost unbearable paradox that they want to make you feel better. Mm -hmm. It's all right, I'm okay, I'm dying. I'm, you know, that's the best position to be in because I'm at the lowest condition. 
You've still got hope, you poor sod. Okay? Oh. Hallucinate the bonnet. Right. It just says, oh yes, the bonnet. I remember that pink la bonnet. Mia cuffietta. Yes, he's, he's just remembering it. It's right. a mia cuffietta. Oh, and then once he said the cuffietta, then put the head down. Okay, that's my reaction. Yes, that's right. The cuffietta, the cuffietta. Yes, energy, energy yeah. through the la mia yeah. cuffietta, la mia cuffietta. Right. It's, ah. a, it's suddenly, as you see, what you've done, you run back this memory tape. And do you remember when we, when, we, when we went off to the Momus, and just before we went to the Momus, you bought me that little pink bonnet? Usually what happens is that she hauls it out from under the pillow, and we, you know, item by item, the whole inventory of the stuff is... is, is, is and, like and, I, I'm seeing and you're seeing it, you just yeah. remember it, that's all. Right. Okay? La mia cuffietta, la mia cuffietta, te lo rammenti quando sono entrata la prima volta là. Te lo rammento. Il lume sera spento, eri tanta turbata, poi smarristi la chiave. La tastoni ti sei messo E cerca, cerca Io bel signorino Posso ben dirlo adesso Lei la trovò assai presto Aiutavo il destino Rossor non si vedeva. Che gelida manina se la lasci riscaldare. Era Man, tu mi prendevi oh. no, 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 Mimi! Would it be from talking so much that I've lost energy? It's just that, yes, it is, that you just slipped away. Right. And it's a sort of... We, we, we should actually, the audience feel, everyone should feel, my God, she's gone. Yeah. Because that's the way you go when you do go. Just that you just, you just stop. And, no, and the next time, no one notices it. Yeah. All right. So let's go from uh, that, uh, that chord and the uh, Odio Mimi. Because if you get in there absolutely in time, you've got time to. Oh dear! Mimi! Okay. And the Mimi is, yeah. the mimi is what gets you to your feet. The impetus to get up. Mimi! And it just is. Ah! It's as if you suddenly woke up from a nightmare. Mimi! Don't! 
you can't just grab it. It's as if she saw suddenly that someone, you've been holding on to someone over a precipice. And... Uh, me, me, me. Uh. <laughs> person coming into the room looks for wordless information about how are things. Um, what is it? Mm. And you just give them a... So very slowly. Very small. Look back to Rodolfo, to, back to Marcello, mm -hmm. and then come very gently to her, tiptoeing. Yeah. You fall asleep again, and then just... And just very... Gently put her hands into the muff. Again, it's another one of these intolerable intrusions <laughs> into your peace and quiet. Yeah. It's very nice of you to go out and get me a muff. Absolutely to terrific. But well, would you mind, <laughs> please? The last thing I want at the moment, <laughs> my hand is frozen, but you're pushing my hand into a muff is <laughs> almost yeah. the last thing I want. <laughs> <laughs> However, I'll put up with it because I haven't got the energy to tell you to <laughs> piss off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that everyone is everyone is being so sort of irrelevantly helpful. <laughs> so it's not going to make her feel any better. Is no, it's not going to make her feel any better that she's got a muff there. You see, you know? and actually, it it's completely impedes her hands, and she just what am I, what am I meant to do with this then? <laughs> well, what am I meant to do with a muff? You can't, you can't take it with you. <laughs> so, so it's just, it's very gentle to put it there. And just let your hand be put into it. So just put one hand into it. That's right. And then just rise slowly. And look back to... That's the least I could do. And then just walk off, pa walk off past them. And just come and stand here, facing away. Mm. Every person gets locked up in their own personal thoughts in a scene like this. That They don't dare to look at one another because they don't know what to say. There's, there's that furtive look of... Mm. There should be all that, everyone... And then we get to the point where, in fact... Uh, you can busy yourself. I mean, the one uh, saving grace is that there's, a, there's something to do. Mm. Okay? Now, what I'd like to do is to not have this conveniently placed uh, on the table. It should be somewhere lying around amongst the debris of this a ghastly apartment in yeah. which they're living. And it should be a, a desperate looking around for things. You don't know, you haven't the faintest idea where medicine should be. Because, it, I mean, you haven't had anyone ill in the place at all. Oh, Christ, what a spirit burner somewhere. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mary, there was always one moment in these operas when, when you're rehearsing it, where one becomes completely hysterical. Eventually, what will happen is that you'll get so tired of being hysterical <laughs> that you'll start crying. Okay? Well, there's a thing called a musical line. Of course, if you uh, leave it that long, that musical line disappears somewhere to the bottom of the ocean. And also, the longer you wait for the line, the more likely you are to actually uh, break out and start laughing anyway. Sorry. No. <laughs> no, it's all right. It's one of those things that happens. It's well, it's so do I. Putting egg on the You can come in a little bit more hurriedly on it. Um, there was a there's a slight movement as if um, uh, you came in actually as if you were a district nurse coming in. Um, <laughs> district <laughs> district nurse arriving with muff as ordered. <laughs> you know, it, it was a little bit. Um, have I got a muff for her? <laughs> well, that'll help. Well, that picture in your 
It, it, it should be a little bit more on the run. Is that, what, what, what's wrong? What's happened to you? How is she? It's okay. And then go over to her. How is she? You know. Doesn't matter if you break up this time. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Does it have to think of it more as a manicotto rather than a mask? <laughs> That's it, she's I lost it now. It, she's lost well, it, it now. It, 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 it. <laughs> I suppose, you know, manicotto sounds yeah. as if it's, it's, as if it's uh, an item of diet which has been sent up from the uh, Italian takeaway around the corner. <laughs> yes, yeah, sure, we, we can run up a manicotto for her, uh, or a lasagna, whichever so she wants. Get the door made out of her now. <laughs> <laughs> you better sing it. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, sorry, shall I try again? Shall we? Hey, we ready, thanks. <laughs> Ho veduto il dottore, mi ferrò, gli ho fatto fretta, ecco il cordiale, mi porta. Yeah, and you will say that for her and tell her. That's very good then, you do that. And it was, it was absolutely lifeless. Senza, senza giggle. Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely, sends a giggle. Okay. So, in, like, just yeah, 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 don't shove it in, because otherwise it looks as if it's, as if it's, uh, as, 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 as if it's, as if it's, as if it's manicotta farcita, you know. <laughs> okay, so just put it very gently in, and then just stay solicitously there. Um, then you get up on riposa, as if you're somehow distancing yourself. Oh, good, the district nurse is here, she'll look after everything. <laughs> and she's brought in the manicotta, that's a very good life support system. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That'll fix everything. That'll fix everything. Manicotas, that's what she needs. Yeah, yeah more of them. <laughs> Bring in more of the manicotas. And stroke, when you, when you were being comforting to us, smoke, smoke, <laughs> stroke, stroke, or, or indeed smoke. <laughs> How are you, dear? <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's right. and then just, but, it's, but stroke, that is me wonderful if you actually stroke the hand, you see, it'd be lovely. It twitches if, off if it, if it twitches, <laughs> then, then you've got a different sort of maricotta, you see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, so, so, okay, so, um, try not to twitch the, uh, the mouth. Uh, uh, um, I'll say no more. Um, okay, so let's go from, uh, the... Mm -hmm. Uh, let's go from uh, Marcello's line about the uh, the cordiale. Yeah, that's very very good. That's lovely. Just kneeling. Yes, just kneeling. There. Yes. Okay. Yep. Ho veduto il dottore. Verrà. Mi ha fatto fretta. Ecco il cordiale. Now, 
out. Okay, stop there. I'm gonna, I'm yeah, gonna I'm going to want to do that. That's fine. That's very, very good. That's terrific. That's wonderful. That's, and it should be as much as that, you see. And now, you should be busying yourself all the time with this. <coughs> and so that you, you don't see her disappearing. No one sees her die. All that happens is that Shonar sees that she's dead. It is, I mean, to use that phrase, it's a memento mori, a reminder of death, a reminder of one's own death, which makes the scene so moving. I think what we should do is to go at it now. Okay, here we go then.
fatto fretta ecco il cordiale e parla io così
detto il medico. Perdà. Madonna benedetta, fate la grazia a questa poveretta che non debba morire. Qui ci vuole un riparo perché la chiama sempre là. Così. Vedi, è tranquilla. Che vuol dire lamentare e venire? Vuol guardarmi e capire! No!